Tonight's storm put a major damper on things and that includes flooding around Philadelphia. Alexandria Hall is in Rittenhouse Square tonight with our coverage. Alex. Yeah, well, Yuki, this first round was swift, but it came with enough gusto to really interrupt those Friday evening plans, whether that be dining outside or just trying to make it home. There were high hopes for this last Friday in August. On 18th Street from Locust to Walnut, the street was blocked off in the hopes of hosting outdoor dining, but chairs remained pushed to the side after pounding rains provided an unwanted interlude. This was the scene just before 5 p.m. across from City Hall. People huddled under the bus stop while others made a run for it. And if traveling by foot wasn't hard enough, those in their vehicles felt hour-long backups on area roadways. Near the intersection of B and Venango in the city's Fairhill neighborhood, flood waters caused by what appeared to be trash clogging sewer drains caused some drivers to stall out, blocking others who risk the same by moving through dangerously high waters. A buildup of garbage also appeared to have caused this major flooding at Kensington and Clearfield streets. And then northbound in Bucks County, riders of the Scepter Regional Rail Train had to be carried away by bus after a tree limb struck the train near the Chalfont Station. We're told no one was injured, but the limb did catch on wires and cut off power to the train for a portion of time. Now back in the city, once the rain led up, some outdoor festivities did resume, like dining al fresco, with many trying to soak in a pleasant nightfall before more rain arrives. It is still feeling very pleasant out here at 10 o'clock in the CW Yuki. I mentioned that it was sprinkling a little bit and that I might need an umbrella for 11, but didn't turn out to be the case. Reporting live in Rittenhouse Square, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. So far, so good. Alex, thank you.